well based on electromagnetism we must have deep comprehensive knowledge about superconductors actually superconductors are commonly used in power transmission medical imaging high speed electronics particle acceleration and so on so it must be kept in mind that superconductors are very crucial from conceptual point of view and scientific point of view as well first of all let's point out definition of superconductor actually a superconductor is a material that allows an electric current to flow through it without any electrical resistance when it is cooled to a very low temperature more clearly a superconductor is in state of perfect conductivity while cooling at very low temperature based on superconductor we need to have deep concept about the following points in order to understand about superconductivity number 1 lattice vibration number 2 cooper pier number 3 specific critical temperature number 4 critical magnetic field number 5 critical current let's go through cooper pier at first actually a cooper pier is defined as the pair of electrons that form a bound state in a superconductor due to an attractive interaction often mediated by lattice vibration in other words a cooper pair is defined as the pair of electrons having equal and opposite momentum and spin in case of superconductor here probably we might have curiosity about how does a cooper pair take place and help for superconductivity in case of superconductor so in order to get deep concept about this amazing fact let's go through scientific reasons actually in case of superconductor electrons can pair up in a cooper pair furthermore this unique phenomenon occurs when an electron moving through the lattice slightly attracts a positively charged ion in the lattice causing slight deformation or distortion moreover this slight deformation or distortion creates a region of slightly higher positive charge density which can then attract another electron resulting two electrons to be in a pair which is simply called cooper pair for simplicity the distortion created by the first electron can attract a second electron even though electrons are negatively charged particles due to which they have repulsive nature more clearly the force of attraction between two electrons due to slight deformation or distortion is not an electrical attraction however this force of attraction between two electron is very effective due to lattice vibration similarly let's point out lattice vibration in fact in case of superconductor lattice vibration is defined as the oscillations of atoms within the crystal structure moreover in case of superconductor lattice vibration plays a crucial role for superconductivity allowing electric current to pass through the conducting material without any electrical resistance this unique phenomenon is simply known as zero resistance in case of superconductor similarly let's point out specific critical temperature of a superconductor actually specific critical temperature of a superconductor is defined as the temperature below which 
it exhibits superconductivity more clearly every superconductor has a specific critical temperature however when the temperature of a superconductor rises above its critical temperature then it will be changed into a normal conductor or a normal conducting state here probably we might have curiosity about how does a superconductor become a normal conductor above its critical temperature so in order to get deep concept about this wonderful feature of superconductor let's go through scientific reasons actually every superconductor has a specific critical temperature however when the temperature of a superconductor rises above its critical temperature then thermal vibrations of atoms of conducting material become more energetic interrupting cooper pairs or special electron pairs causing transition of a superconductor into a normal conductor also less point out critical magnetic field actually superconductors also have critical magnetic field above which they become normal conductor here let's move on to scientific reasons behind transition of a superconductor into a normal conductor above its critical magnetic field in fact when we apply strong magnetic field on a superconductor then applying a magnetic field on a superconductor can break apart a cooper pair or special electron pairs resulting transition of a superconductor into a normal conductor apart from this let's point out critical current of a superconductor actually critical current of a superconductor is defined as the current above which it loses its superconductivity more clearly every superconductor consists of certain level of current up to which it shows superconductivity however when the amount of current in a superconductor rises above its critical value then a superconductor transitions into a normal conductor probably we might be eager to understand about how does a superconductor transition into a normal conductor above its critical current so in order to get deep concept about this amazing feature of a superconductor let's go through scientific reasons actually every superconductor consists of certain level of current up to which it shows a superconductivity however when the amount of current in a superconductor rises above its critical value then current itself generates a strong magnetic field resulting magnetic energy moreover this magnetic energy can break apart cooper pairs or special electron pairs resulting transition of a superconductor into a normal conductor based on applications superconductors are widely used in different fields in modern world so let's point out some major uses of superconductors number 1 power transmission number 2 medical imaging number 3 high speed electronics number 4 particle acceleration at first let's point out power transmission actually superconductors are used in power transmission in order to reduce loss of energy in electricity transmission 
Similarly, let's point out high speed electronics. In fact, superconductors are used for developing faster and more efficient electronic devices. Also, let's point out medical imaging. Actually, superconductors are used to create strong magnetic field for MRI machines in hospitals and research centers. Apart from this, let's point out particle acceleration. Actually, superconductors are used to create strong magnetic field for particle acceleration in resource center and different magnetic fields. Thank you.